Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We are back to filming on my camera instead of my phone. Can we believe it's May already? It's May. A few of you actually told me, requested me, that you would love to see grab ups of my reads for every month, aka what is a grab up. This is a video of me talking about all the books that I read in the past months. In the past, I didn't thought it was a good video because I basically vlogged every single week. But now that I don't vlog religiously, it's a good idea. And I honestly love grab ups. Without further ado, let's go straight to the point and I'll tell you what I read this past month. I forgot to introduce myself for everyone that's new here. My name is Sophia. I have a book addiction. I cannot stop reading and I make live slash booking content. You're welcome to subscribe and become part of the fam. Okay, let's talk about books. <laughs> I read a book total in April. I did not follow my TBR at all, so there we go. I put it out there. You know what gets me out of a reading slump? A romance. That was the first thing I read, this one. All the little lies. Do I even want to talk about this book? It's a bully romance, a school romance. The girl has had like a, a hard life. The two main characters used to know each other, but then she was taken by the system and put in foster houses till she got back. If it sounds like something you will enjoy, read it. The writing wasn't the best, the ending was rash. It read like a fan fiction at times, but I give it a 3 out of 5 star because it was enjoyable. And if you enjoy the book, no matter how other people say it's bad, you do you. So 3 out of 5 star. Then the next book I read, you actually saw it in a blog, Before the Coffee Gets Gold. I've heard a lot a lot about Before the Coffee Gets Gold around booktube and also Instagram. I saw a lot of people picked it up. I was kind of expecting something different. In the book we follow a bunch of different characters and all of them are connected by this coffee shop, by urban stories. It's supposed to let you time travel back to the past. The book main point is talking about regret and how someone can live without regret and let it go basically. I read I rated it 3 out of 5 stars, but I was expecting something more. I don't know, I just wish it dealt with the feelings of the character more instead of their backstories. I guess it is you that have to like bring up your own conclusions of the regret that this character has. It's also check the trigger warnings because there is a few topics in here that maybe will trigger you. I will link them down below if I remember. I always forget, <laughs> but I will remember this time. The next book I read was actually an audiobook and I listened to all my audiobooks on script if you want to know and that is Exciting Times. The cover does look really similar to this. I've been trying to get out of my comfort zone when it comes to reading and try to read like more of every genre or like books that I feel like I will love but I was intimidated by reading because most of my life I've read YA which is not bad only reading YA or like fantasy but I just felt like I wanted to try and this book was not it. I rated it 2 out of 5 stars. In the story we follow our main character and how she just moves to Hong Kong, just tries to figure out her life romantically and like everything. Again, I think I think I have a problem with plotless books and books like these with short chapters that th there's nothing really going on in each chapter, let's be honest. I think they are not for me. The writing wasn't bad, it did remind me of Sally Rooney. A lot of books remind me of Sally Rooney because I think that's the only contemporary fiction that I've read. Those were my three first books of the month. I'm gonna do some stuff and I'll tell you more about my other reads. Another one of my favorite things this month was Heartstopper and I haven't really talked about it but Heartstopper is this really famous graphic novel and I've been following this story for a while now and I read all the volumes. The TV show just came out and it's an amazing TV show. I really recommend it. It's LGBTQ plus friendly. It's just happiness in a show. It's my new comfort show. And I also feel like it's really really necessary for the new generation to see themselves represented in a show like that. 5 out of 5 stars, I've been obsessed and that's another of the books that I read this month. I read all the Heartstopper volumes and you should too. <laughs> Let's continue. After that, I decided to read even more romance. First one was The Confidence of Wildflowers, recommendation by M. Perfect paperbacks, you know my friend M. She loved it and I hated it and I read it 
one out of five stars. Romance tropes are a really niche thing. You either like it or you don't. And this one was an H cup romance, which I normally don't enjoy. The fact that she was still in high school and he is like a father was not for me at all. I still pushed through it and read it. The ending was not worth it. It was like rushed. The grinding wasn't that good. And the whole point of the story, I just... I don't know. There was something weird about it. We are not shaming people about what kind of romance they read. It wasn't for me, to be fair. TikTok has been recommended me romance for a while and when I see a quote that I like, I need to read the book and this is what happens with my next book, which is called Waking Olivia. And I saw it was like an athlete trainer romance but I was, again, really scared about that age gap, but they are only two years apart. So I was like, okay. Still, I was a little afraid because of the power dynamic from an athlete and a trainer. But it was quite good. I rated it 3 out of 5 stars. The main girl in the story has a problem. She's a runner and she runs while she sleeps. She's late to one of the training sessions. And the coach is like, why are you late? And she's like, I have this problem and I run while I sleep. And at the beginning I laugh, but then I realize it's actually quite dangerous because she doesn't know where she is. She wakes up in like the middle of the forest in her pajamas. And then you learn why she runs. She's running from something. It was good, it was fast to read, it was entertaining. I smiled like an idiot at some parts. So I do recommend this one. It's enemies to lovers as well because they hate each other at the beginning, but then, you know, they learn about their past. I also kept rereading parts of the Atlas 6. I'm going through this book really slowly, really, really enjoying annotating. I am using a new annotation system that I think works wonders for me now and I'm getting a bit more comfortable with writing on my books. It's still really scary for me and there's a lot of books that I'm actually afraid to annotate and I'm like, should I or shouldn't I? One of my favorite things this month were my tabs. So you probably have seen these around because everyone is using these tabs now. It's not about the tabs or the colors. I do like the colors more than the neon pink yellow that I used to use. But it's a ruler. They have a ruler. Now that I underline a lot when annotating, this is perfect to carry around. The next book I finished was In Five Years by Rebecca Serly and this was on my latest vlog. This book was listed as a perfect read for people that feel anxious about the future as the story follows this girl that one day spends one hour five years in the future and she sees that everything around her has changed. Three out of five stars, another book that misses the point in these. <laughs> Trigger warning down below because it's a, there's a big thing in here that will probably trigger a lot of people. But I think the last few pages and the last half of the book made it entertaining. It was just a bit boring. I did like the grading. It is mostly dialogue, which I really, really like. Thank you so much for that. And the chapters were also short, so it keeps you engaged all the way till the end. Also, if you have any other books that have like time travel, I love those. Let me know that below. Now my last book I read this month was my last romance. <laughs> All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata. This is where it's at. 5 out of 5 stars. This was just what I needed. Made me a smile like a complete idiot. I was just mesmerized by the story. No age gap in here. They are an older couple, a slow burn, a small town. They are trying to like find someone that they love. And there's just so many quotes in here. Mariana Zapata has something. Like she has the touch when it comes to slow burn. I don't even care that they don't kiss. I just want to see them interacting with each other. Like even when they caress their hands, I'm like, they caress their hands. I totally recommend this one. There's not really sad parts in there, so if you just want like a good time and a healing time, this is the book for it. I said it on my blog, but the main character is everything I strive to be. And there's normally something I hate about every single main character. It's something that annoys me. But this girly, she has everything. She has a pure heart. She's a sunshine and I just want to be her. I just want to be like her. I think that's pretty much with it. I read a few more books, but they were 
psychology books about uh, MBTI types. I've been getting into those a lot. If you know your MBTI type, let me know down below. I love that, so I've been reading about it and my type and how I can become a better person. I've been really enjoying that, but I think they are boring to talk about, so yeah. That's pretty much all I read in April. They were pretty much all of them three stars. Not the best reading month, but we can change that in May. I'm over romance for a while after reading five romances. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite book of April. I read a lot. If you didn't, just tell me about your month. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like because it helps a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot over here. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!